Hello, this is Elaine from Antelope Beads, and I'm here today to show you how to make a lark's head knot and also show you some unusual applications for this knot. So to make a basic lark's head knot, I have here a piece of pre-stretched lycra ribbon. And more information on lycra ribbon, please see our video on lycra. I'm going to fold it in half with a loop at the top. I will put the loop from the front to the back through whatever component I'm going to link it into. And then I am going to push the tails through the loop, pull them tight, and I have a lark's head knot. And this is what it looks like from the back. I can also use a lark's head knot to make a bale. I have here a Kazuri pendant where the loop is really too big to use a jump ring. And so the question is, how would I hang it from this piece of leather? So again, I'm going to do a lark's head knot. I have a piece of green leather here, and I will fold it in half. And this time, I'm going to actually put the loop over my bracelet leather, bring it around to the back, push those tails through, pull it tight, and I have a lark's head knot. So in order to attach the pendant, I'm gonna actually work from the back to the front. I'll bring these tails up from the back of the pendant, and then I will push the tails through the loops on either side of the knot, adjust them until I have the length the way I like, and that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to tie a square knot at the back. I do that by putting the right side of the leather over the left, looping it around, pulling it tight, and then the left side over the right, again, looping it around, pulling it tight. And this is what a square knot looks like. There. And then what I'll do is take a little super new glue Put a couple of drops on either side of the knot, and I will trim off the tails, and I have a very interesting bale for my pendant. The other thing you can do with a lark's head knot is work with multiple strands. I have here a strand of green, yellow, and red leather, and I'm going to lay them all down flat. Again, I'm going to put, make my loop and I'm going to hold these as flat as I can. I'm going to again put the loop through the ring from the front to the back, fold it over. I am going to have to hold these strands with one finger while I push all the tails through. And this may take just a minute. I can open that ring up a little bit more if I need to. I think we got them all. And then I'll just take a minute once I get them all through and straighten everything out. And we have a really interesting decorative not for our ring. There we go, okay? And this is what this would look like if it was finished. Hope you've enjoyed this information. Thank you so much for listening today, and please visit us at Antelope Beads for more videos and to see some of our great products.